Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So, um, so given this point, given this point, uh, and uh, and this plane, find the shortest distance that exists between this point and the plane. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, with, with an equation of a plane, you can easily identify these three points, and then uh, and then you can easily extract the normal vector. So this is your normal vector. From this point, you can work out. Um, the uh, the vector here from let, let's just call it Q from Q to P and then uh, and then the, the shortest distance is really you projecting Q P onto this normal vector so the shortest distance is uh, is this distance here from here to uh, to here so let's try and work out this distance here okay so so remember remember when given two vectors when given two vectors if you want to project if you want to project u onto v, then uh, then then this distance here is given by by the uh, the magnitude of u times cos theta times cos theta. Uh, the magnitude of u times cos theta is given by this, which in turns uh, is equal to this, which we've already seen. So what it's saying is that if you want to find out the magnitude, which we do here, which we do here. Um, then, uh, then, then, then get the um, get the normal vector uh, divided by its magnitude. So this will be the unit normal vector, and then dot it with your with your uh, QP. Okay. So, so this is we, we've seen this before. So let's let's put it to um, to work. So, given now, uh, remember all that we were given right from the start of the question was this point and this equation. So from this equation, you can easily locate uh, this point. So, uh, so set, uh, set uh, x to be zero and set uh, z to be zero. So, so y must be three. So the, the location here must be zero, three, zero. And then, um, and then we want the the normal vector. So the normal vector would be given by this. So remember, when when an when an equation is given in this form, you can always extract the normal vector by extracting these three. So the normal vector would be three. Uh, two and uh, six. So that so this this is our, our normal vector. And uh, and remember, going back to here, going back to here, to work out um, to work out this thing here, to work out the magnitude of this, to work out the magnitude of this, we would need to get our our vector, our normal vector divided by its magnitude. So that would then give us the unit uh, normal vector. So uh, so now this is our our normal vector. But then we want it. We want the unit vector. We want the unit vector. So we need to work out its magnitude. Or well, its magnitude is given by by this, by this, which is seven. So what it's saying here is we we we've got our our normal vector here, which is given by this. It turns out that the magnitude is seven. So hang on. Uh, uh, so so now uh, get the magnitude. Uh, sorry, get the actual vector divided by its magnitude. So divided by seven, then that will then give you our our unit normal vector here. Okay, so now, now, uh, now we need to work out this vector here, Q P, Q from from Q. How will we get from Q to P? Well, if, if you're currently at um, if you're currently at Q, uh, how would you get to P? Well, currently you're at zero, so you need to move one uh, in the in the positive direction. Currently you're at three. Um, how would you get to one? Well, you you need to go uh, two in the negative direction. Currently, you're at zero. How would you get to three? Well, you would need to move three in the positive direction. So the the vector QP, this vector here, is given by by this. So the distance. Remember, we we've got our we've got a we we've got our, our our unit normal vector, which is uh, which is this thing here, which is this thing here. Well, the distance would be us. The distance, hang on, bear with me. The distance, the distance, which is this thing here, is given by us taking the dot product of the the uh, the vector q p, and then dot it with our with our unit uh, normal vector. So the distance, so the distance, the distance is given by our uh, by our uh, our q p, and then dotting it with our unit uh, unit. With our unit, a normal vector, which is uh, this thing here. Okay, so so uh, so that would then that would then give that would then take us to here. 
So now it's just a matter of computing the uh, the dot product. It will be this times this plus this times this, and then uh, plus this times this. So the uh, the distance is given by by this. So just a quick recap. Um, work out uh, work out the the normal vector, and then once you've got your normal vector, um, work out its magnitude, and then divide it by its magnitude. So that would then give us this. Uh, this unit vector here, and then uh, work out QP, and then project this vector onto here. So uh, pro project it onto onto here. So so it will then give you th this here is your answer here, which happens to be uh, which happens to be this. Okay.